Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this green look for you all um, using the Sephora Pro palette and right now I'm just taking that color, it's just a plain old white color porcelain and placing that all over the lid. And now I'm just taking that color Helen P and placing that in my crease. This is going to act as our transition color and it's a little bit dark for a transition color but we're going to make it work and I just got this palette like not too long ago. Um, I've kind of been slacking on videos because I've been busy with school starting back and work but yeah, I want to try and start filming again because I missed it. But like I said, I did purchase this palette um, about a week ago. And I will go ahead and warn you guys, this palette is $68. And if you can't handle kickback or fallout, um, oh, and I'm taking the color grass and just placing that right below where we put um, Helen P and blending that out. But if you cannot handle fallout and... Um, kickback then this palette is not for you and I would not spend $68 on it because it does have a ton of fallout. I honestly don't mind the fallout because I usually do my eye makeup before I do my foundation so um and now I'm taking the color Sean. Sorry I'm going too fast and I feel like I'm just rambling on about this palette but I'm putting Sean on the outer V of my eyes and here in a second, it's going to change again, so I'm not even going to start on my rant until we get finished. But um, now I'm taking the color Champagne and placing that um, on my lid, but not going all the way in. But anyways, I would not spend $68 on this palette because it does have a lot of kickback. So just to go ahead and let you all know and to warn you all that it... It is rough when it comes to that. But other than that, it is really, really pigmented. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best palette in the world. Um, and to me, I guess, I think it is worth $68 because you do get a lot of um, different eyeshadows, a lot of different colors, and um, they are pigmented. But now I'm just taking the color Ice and placing that on the inner corner of my eye. And I had a lot of trouble with this color. I don't know if y'all can tell, but um, it's it kind kind of comes on patchy almost, and kind of like chunky, if that makes sense. <laughs> but I didn't. I don't know that color um, or that glitter like eyeshadow was just not working for me. But um, now I'm just blending everything out with that color grass and making sure there are no lines, and I'm putting. Sean, um, just putting that one back in there is the best way I can describe what I'm doing, but, um, now I'm just taking the color Helen P and placing that on my lower lash line, and then I'll be placing Grass and Sean on there too, just kind of the same thing we did for the top, and, okay, so this eye look is very, very out there, and, bold and bright so I would not wear this out in public I don't know if you like um bright colors and would wear it out then by all means you do that but for me personally this was stepping out of my comfort zone because I never do looks like this ever I'm just a plain Jane kind of girl and I wear neutrals and browns all the time and I'm so glad it's almost fall because I can break out the burgundy and the dark browns and just oh, I cannot wait for fall but um yeah so this is the finished look I hope you all enjoyed um thank you all so much for watching if you could like comment and subscribe it would mean the world to me bye guys